Hello everybody, my name is John and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about lubrication and my new favourite lubricant in the form of grease and that is this white lithium grease. I was uh, given the tip by uh, one of the channel members called Brett Sill. I've mentioned him before and the white lithium grease but I actually wanted to show you in a specific video so that you could all understand why you should be moving over to this stuff. Now it is imperative that you get the white lithium grease because the other colors do different things and have different properties. One of them specifically, I think it was the brown one, would actually just ruin your differentials and your gears. So make sure it's the white because that's the one that I've been using all the way along uh, since moving over from this one. Um, very, very good indeed. I mean, like just when the car's running and you release off the accelerator, it just seems to roll a little bit further than with these ones. And when I've taken the diffs apart afterwards, they look brand new. They don't look like they've been used. Whereas with this, there's black bits in there and it looks like crap to say the least. So what I'm actually going to do now is I have stripped two differentials down. As you can see here, they are almost clean as clean as I could do it. Um, and the intention is to do one with the grease and do one with the white lithium grease and then find some way of showing you uh, the difference. Uh, I've come up with one test bed that I have no idea if it's gonna work. If it doesn't work, then, well, I'm gonna be stuffed really. Because I didn't wanna, I mean, I do have two identical cars but one slightly older, and then of course you run the risk of, you know, well that one's older, that's why it wasn't running so far, or or the likes of. So I wanted to get as clear a test bed as possible. So I'll show you what I was thinking, and I may just be completely loopy here, but I've taken the rear off one of the 144001. These are both rears so that neither of them are turning, other than the usual wheel wobble. Uh, once the drive shafts are in and the diffs are in, it's going to be hanging and as you can see it freewheels. So I'm then going to be putting a drill this side, spinning it as fast as possible, releasing it and we'll see how long it goes for the one with the grease and the one with the white lithium grease. Whether it works or not, we do not know. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to try something else. So for this part, all you're going to do is see me putting it together. You, I've got more than enough videos of me putting these together. The only difference being is it's completely stripped down now, uh, down to like these little washers and whatnot. And the reason why I've done that is because the washers will sit here and then this will sit there. And as you can see, it will be quite hard to get grease in there. So I thought I'd just put a little bit of grease there you know, before I, I reassemble it. Um, <clears throat> concerning the bearings, for all of the four bearings, I have used, where is it? The uh, dry lube, um, which does a very good job at lubricating, but then obviously the outside isn't left all greasy and gunky. So if you have that, use it. If you don't, then don't worry about it. So, I will put it together as slowly as I can do, but I will remain quiet because obviously for the second one, I'm just gonna fast forward through it. So, we shall do the white lithium grease one first.
I am going to just put a couple of washers there. I dropped my my tools the other day or my box the other day and all of them mixed up. Right pain in the butt. sizes one two three four five six get rid of the bigger ones here's our m2 by the looks of it Just go at the ends. As I've explained before, these bars have got little notches in, and it's very, very important that the notches are sitting properly. If I, oh, if I show you on this one, got the little notches there. I need to make sure that when they're in position, they're completely flush, like so. If not, nothing will work. So the bottom bar, the first one that you put in, has to have the notch facing upwards. And currently it's downwards. Wow. Where it is. There we go. It's now facing upwards. So. You've got the, okay. Why is the autofocus not working? Oh, I'm gonna be one of those days. There we go. So you've got the four holes for the screws. Obviously this one would fit in between two of the holes. And I've managed to turn that already, which is not good. Very important that you get the notch facing up. Like so, you can clearly see now that the notch is facing up on that one. And then I will just prepare the next one. One bar. Two of the cone gears. I was using, using toothpicks and everything to get these as clean as possible because I didn't want any contaminants. I just dropped one of those, okay. I thought I just dropped one of the washers actually in the diff casing. That would not have been smart or good. Oh. There we go, all right, where's the notch? She sat right in the notch now. Okay. There we go. See, I managed to turn that notch around now. That was not smart. There we go. And that's what it should sit like. So push that down a little bit. Get some of this in there. Lots of that in there. Slowly turn it, or else you'll knock the notches out again. I'm just going to put a little bit more in. I always prefer too much than too little. Right, that's that. And then just line up the screws.
like so. Push it down tight. Can't remember where I put the screws for these. There we go. What I do now is Oops. I always just put one screw in tight. Come on, come on. Okie dokie, definitely one of those days. There we go. No, 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 no. and check to make sure it's turning. As you can clearly see, it is turning the other way. Which means it's all good. Wondering if I can just scrape something in here. W for white. So that we know which one is which. W. White lithium grease. Okay, now I'm just going to put that to one side so that I don't reach for it accidentally. And then we'll get on with number two. This one I'm just going to fast forward through because you've just seen me put the other one together. As you can see, also working. So this is the normal grease and the W is the white lithium grease. Okay, right, now, as I said, this is going to be very much trial and error to know whether this rig is even going to work. Um, I suspect it may not, but that's me being a little bit negative today. <clears throat> so, uh, just bear with me, I'll get everything set up and we will be back. Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, okay, my test rig did not work. Um, I thought it would work. The problem is that I just can't seem to get both sides to 
at least seem appear to be working um, at, at the same rate. I could swap the differential back and forth, but I just thought, right, let's use a car. I've already got the um, the white lithium grease differential at the front and the normal grease differential at the rear. And what I will do is to prove that fact to you guys, because I know there are a few non-believers out there, I will on camera take it apart I'll make sure that I've got 30 minutes on that one ready to go. Um, and what we can then do is clean up the bits and bobs, swap them over, and then run the test again. Okay, but on the white lithium grease one, as you uh, remember, I did put the W in it. Um, and on this one, I put a G on it. Um, and then the final thing I'll do is show you, I'll undo both of the discs and show you the contents inside. So we have 28 minutes on that one. That one should be enough for uh, speeding through this. So this is what I found so far, and it's actually quite interesting. Um, to get you updated, the rear um, dog bone drive shaft is being taken out, and the same on the front, because I want no resistance here. Okay, I just want the other side to be running. Now, obviously, both sides take a little bit longer to get up to speed because obviously this side's just spinning, but watch what happens. See how quickly that stops in comparison to this one. Okay. And then I'm hearing you all saying, yes, but this is because this nut's just a little bit too tight, John. So I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, that makes sense. So I'll undo the nut a little bit, as you can see. See that? This one stops a lot quicker than that one. The white lithium grease, as I thought, is lubricating a little bit better. But then you're all like, yeah, but it could be like the bearings and whatnot are a bit old. And that's why I'm going to be swapping them around. But if I take off the wheel altogether, so you can see the hex nut here. Obviously, you don't have the weight of the wheel spinning now. So this one would naturally stop quicker. What if I take them off both? There you go. Da, 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 da. And we'll see which one spins for a longest cool it's hard to tell isn't it really hard to tell okay anyway so we know that this one seems at least to be um running a little bit more freely but the only way to find that out and prove that for sure is to swap them over so that's what we shall do Mm -mm. Okay, one thing that you will notice is this looks like it's white. That was because in the edges, all the way down here was a little bit of white left and it's obviously mixed with that. But if anything, it would help it run better than what it has been doing. So I have to try and clean these up as best as possible. Um, what I will do quickly is, scraped I attempted to do a G but it didn't actually come out that well hopefully you can see that there is some looks like hieroglyphics more than anything I'm afraid but there you go it was quite hard to do the 
the curved part of the G, I'm afraid. So, right, so this is just the grease one. And this is the white lithium grease. Why did I have to use it? Oh, I don't really need to clean these up. Well, I do to show you the W, but there you go. You can clearly see the W on that one because the white lithium grease has gone into that. So, right, now I have to try and clean these up the best as I can. Ugh. Gonna be easy, isn't it? Again, I'm not using a baby wipe or anything like that because um, that's going to add moisture to it and that will not be good. I don't want to go swapping parts out, like swapping out the, um, the diff casing and whatnot because then I'm adding another variable to it all. I need to use exactly the same things for both sides. Trying to do this as scientifically as possible, which isn't easy because you know you're never going to clean these up 100%. Man, look at that gunk. Why did I use so much? It's going to be harder to do the uh, the grease because that's a lot, lot, lot stickier. I'm calling it on that one because life's too short to spend that much time on it. I've managed to lose a screw in there. Lovely. You can see the majority of it is uh, the normal grease. Okay, once again, I'm calling it. So I need the white lithium grease at the rear. Because it was at the front the last time. What a plonker. Why didn't any of you tell me? This one had the W on. I wiped it off, didn't I? Oh, what a plonker.
Okay, we're now back together. Oh, battery probably a good idea. Come on. I'm just going to run it a little bit slowly, obviously, to get the grease uh, moving. Okay. Ow! improperly that oh. Okay, I think it just needed uh, the grease to get in the places that it needed to get into because as you saw, once they get up to speed, my hands are so greasy right now, once they get up to speed, the white lithium grease is running further than the other side. So keep an eye on this one versus this one, really loose, okay, I'm going to leave it really loose, right. Full speed. See how now that one's stopping a lot sooner than this side, therefore showing that the white lithium grease is lubricating better. I'm not sure what it was at the back there. I, I know that the casing, when I was screwing the casing together, one of the screws here was down, so the casing was up slightly, which means that the uh, bearing wasn't being gripped properly. So I don't know if that's the reason why it was doing that, but. Again, you can see. Excellent, right now, I've proven that fact to you. I'm not gonna move anything. I've got 20 seconds left on that, so I'm gonna to have to stop everything. I'm gonna leave this one on while I'm stopping this one, and then I'll turn this one off and back on it. Actually, I think I can leave this one on the whole time, can't I? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one on the whole time. For editing purposes, I had to turn this one off as well, but I stay in the same position so you can see that the car hasn't moved one iota. So, just for those that are still non-believers that John's just uh, fibbing to you guys, um, I'm just going to quickly take the differentials out and unscrew them so you can see that the stuff inside is in fact what I said it was inside. I know a lot of that, a lot of you people out there. Um, or should I say peeps, uh, trust me and what I'm doing. I'm, I don't see the point of lying or cheating or, or faking results because you, it, you won't be able to replicate it. Yeah, so they would make the video completely pointless. Um, but there are a few non-believers out there. So I'm going to quickly take the diffs out and show you that the, this is now the white lithium grease. It's in fact white lithium grease in there and that there is normal grease in the rear. Oops. So, this is the normal grease.
White lithium. see the W on that for the white lithium and on this one where is my hieroglyphics there we go that's the angle that I did it in so you can see what I was going for the G there with the line and the but well anyway greasy greasy grissa hands This white lithium grease, I've never been happier. It's it's definitely something that I believe all of you should be putting in your differentials, gearboxes and whatnot. Um, very good at what it does. As I said, all the way at the start of this video, 17 days ago, um, when I put it in the 144001, it was dead silent. Such a difference. Um, but it also just ran further. White lithium. And the normal grease. Done. There we go, ladies and gents. So you could clearly see, once it got up and running, that um, the white lithium grease does help with uh, lubrication. Enabled the wheel, uh, firstly at the front to spin longer and then at the rear to spin longer. Imagine when that's on all four wheels um, and the sound is less, it's, it's running more freely. You should, in theory, get a little bit more speed and you should, in theory, get a little bit more running time because there's less... There's less, uh, or there's more lubrication on all of the parts. If you also use the dry lube on your bearings, that does help a lot as well. So for those peeps out there that just want their cars to run and have as little downtime as possible with wear and tear, white lithium grease is the way to go. Um, for those that are doing speed runs, I'm without a shadow of a doubt, uh, I would put money on this. This was going to be my secret weapon when I was going to put the speed run together of the 124019, but I just haven't had time to get around to that yet. So I'm now sharing my completely secret with you. But again, this is not me. This was Bretzel that um, informed me of this stuff. And boy, I owe you a very big thanks because it is fabulous stuff. I'm very intrigued to know what will happen when I put it into the bigger cars to see if it helps out. Um, I know for sure that the uh, JLB Cheetah needs uh, oil in the front and the rear diffs, but I'm going to whack this in and see what happens, see if it helps or hinders. So thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you so much for watching the video, um, and thank you so much for supporting the channel. I wish you all a great day today. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for future video alerts, and we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.